Hey everybody, I'm Garrett. And I'm Carolyn. And we are Diary of a Family. And we are living life intentionally and helping you do the same. Well, you've seen videos with us inside our rig. Yep. We really haven't done the tour thing yet. Do you guys want to see? I think it's time. So we have been living for eight and a half months in this awesome Grand Design Solitude S-Class. Give us the numbers. We are in a 2019 Solitude 3740BH. We absolutely adore this rig. It's been an upgrade for us and it has been perfect for our family. We're at Grand Design Believers. <laughs> So come on with us, let's give you that tour. Right away, you're in our entryway, into our grand design kitchen and our dining room. This space is amazing. With the posing slides, I absolutely adore the space that we have for living with our kids. So first we have our entryway, kind of organizing spots, usually purses, keys, etc. get thrown there. It's a great place to put our water cups. We've got this kind of catch-all. We do a little bit of organizing every once in a while. It does catch all. Then we have some storage up here. We usually put a diaper bag. Got some flashlights and other little pieces that we need for fixing up our rig. Pencils and such, gotta keep them up and out of the kids' reach or they will draw on everything. We do have a few knick-knack drawers. To keep the shoes out of the way, we throw them in there. Honestly, guys, we have so much storage space. This was an easy thing to do. Here's my pantry. Plenty of space. We can do our Costco run and be able to get everything in there. And a few items that we don't need right away, we tend to put in our outdoor kitchen. We do filter all our water and leave the water in the cupboard when we don't need it. Fruit basket is at the kids level so they can enjoy. And then we have some storage things as well. We found this neat fold up step that goes right in there as well as tucking our fly swatter into the back corner there. We have a 16 cubic feet uh, refrigerator freezer. It is a Dometic and we love this thing. We do have a microwave convection oven. We do have a stove top and oven. And yes, ladies, I have cooked in my oven, but we usually just store our big frying pan in there. Here's a tip for you. To help heat that oven evenly, get some sort of stone and put it between your rack and your element. This does help to even out that heat and make sure you don't burn the things in the back or undercook the things in the front. Our stove top is covered with this wonderful glass cover so we can actually use it for countertop, but this is usually how it is on a weekday. I have so much storage space in this rig, again, that I store my dish rack and drying towel in the bottom drawer here, as well as the sink covers. Above the refrigerator, we have, again, storage that we don't use very much other than Play-Doh and arts and crafts and things for the kids to keep, keep it out of their reach. Above, I have stored teas and mugs and things. And here beside this is where we uh, store our dishes, cups and bowls, our plates. Above, we have our vitamins for the kiddos and some coffee mugs. This is what I do with my silverware. It goes right on the turntable here. And this does not go anywhere. Seriously, it has sat on this counter for every single move we have had. We use our electric teapot a lot when we are hooked up to power. All my electric gadgets and pots and pans are down in this area. It's a huge cupboard. My Instapot fits there with a few big pans that I don't use very often. My bowls I use often, so they're at the front. And right here I have my blender, popcorn maker. Thank you to the loves. I loved your garage sale, had to get that popcorn maker. And also a food processor there in the back. So here again, you can see I have my organizer and I have all of my flat dishes all set up. 
so that you can access them and put them back very easily. On the island, we have three small drawers. This one is for our bibs and uh, dish towels. This one is for things that we don't use as often so that they're not cluttering up the lazy Susan on the counter. And then finally we have sandwich bags, storage bags, and cling wrap and such. I love my under counter sink. We do use these tubs to help conserve water since it is one deep sink. And I'd rather not fill up the whole sink when I'm washing dishes. Down below we keep a container for things like soda cans, any recyclables, and then I keep a few grocery sacks to use for garbage can liners for the bathrooms. We also have a lot of space under here for more garbage sacks, containers for water, and rags and things. At the end of the counter here we have our dehumidifier. We have used this thing a ton both in Washington and down in the south in Louisiana and here in Texas. You would be surprised how warm it feels when the humidity is up above 40%. If you just drop that humidity, the temperature actually becomes bearable. Welcome to our entertainment system. We brought our Blu-ray media player with us. We have a normal TV, and then we can also put our smartphones and plug that into the TV as well. Up above, we have our movie collection. Over here is the control system for the speakers. Up above we have all of our user manuals for the trailer. So down below is our electric fireplace. It is a fantastic thing to have during the winter time. Not so much during the summertime when your two-year-old decides to turn it on. This is our dinette. We had it specially put in when we bought the trailer. There is storage underneath each of the seats and you can lift up, it up and you can view there. This is our mini sofa. It also has storage that comes up and we store all of our school books. Timothy, show us his bunk. Oh, hi. Uh, uh, this is uh, this is my bed. Good things in the places. Uh huh. And yeah, so did that. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a. This is a pretty cool place. So you have your the whole bunk to yourself? Yeah. So I call it my house. Is there anything you want to tell anybody? And so it's good and it's comfy and whoa, and you can even jump. Thank you for showing us your bed. Hi, I'm Emma and this is my house. There's room for three, me, um, Mary, and Baby Bum. These are my kids. I notice you like pink. Yeah, it's pink my favorite. and purple. Yeah, purple is my second favorite. And, and you put things on the wall? Yeah, for badges. Because okay. I've got that whole wall filled out. And that whole wall, that's my sticker princess face wall. My purse that I keep some special things in to carry with me. And a lot of other things in here. All right. Edison, are you going to show us your space? Don't my bed. Yeah, show us your bed. Show us how it works. Climb in. Climb in. Show us your pillow and your blankie. No, I just don't have a So this is Edison's bed. He has the lower bunk. It gives him quite a lot of space. And Garrett put in the gate to make it more of a crib. And you can see that video right up here in the corner. Then we have their storage space. This is shelving space. This is where Edison's clothes are. This is the closet and Emma just cleaned it and organized it today. It's a very deep closet. Back up Edison, let's close it. Timothy has his clothes in these two drawers and they got them all organized nice and neat today. And then Emma has her clothes in these drawers. All of their toys are stowed down below this bottom bunk. And then we have this couch that pulls out into another full-size bed. Off of their bedroom is a half bath, toothbrush and hair stuff, and then we have a few more bins of like blankets and sheets. One little tiny sink and the toilet. Underneath the sink here is where we keep 
diapers and wipes and such. So around here in the back is another cupboard and we have filled it with books for them and a few games and incidentals. All right, let's show you upstairs now. First off, you have the bathroom. This is our main bathroom. It is very functional in its space. The shower is quite large. It has a seating area and has a skylight above for those of you who are taller. Um, you are able to remove the head for the shower. And then of course, always have to have a dual purpose. So this shower right now contains our dirty laundry bin and our potty chair for our two year old. We do have lots of storage here. We keep our chemicals up high away from the kids. Towels, we do keep our vacuum here and another set of sheets in the back as well as some mopping things and some wipes for the kid. And then we do have some command strips here that hang our mop, our Swiffer mop and our broom and dust pan. This bathroom does have great storage, not just here in the back, but also behind the mirror. I do need to find options for making this space a little more organized for the smaller items. All in all, these are the things that we use on a very regular basis. Down below the sink, we keep items like our first aid kit, uh, my hair supplies, and some extra supplies. On this side, it's the same. Again, more extra supplies that we have. Coming out of the bathroom and in onto the landing just outside of the master, we have attached to the wall our whiteboard calendar. This thing we've been using for years before we ever moved here, it is attached like all of the other pictures that you've seen on the walls with command strips. We've also put some command strip hooks on the walls and this is where our coats go in the winter time. You are in the master bedroom now. It's set up for a king size bed, but we have a queen. We like our queen size. This is our bed from home. It's our sleep number. So don't hesitate to upgrade your mattress to something that works better for your, you and your back. Underneath we have quite a lot of storage. The bed lifts up. We keep our instruments down here, both our piano and our guitar. And then right now it's quite messy because we have cleaned out the kids' closets. We do have a bin of Christmas things tucked way back in the back. And then there is a container of games down there as well. On both sides of our bed, we have these bedside shelves along with power outlets on both sides so that we can plug in alarm clocks, phones, and that kind of stuff. Welcome to our closet. It is a pretty spacious closet. It goes really deep on all angles. This is basically the front dome of our trailer and almost every inch of it is utilized. We have our main clothes are hung up here behind you can see we have shelves for our other clothes and then we have some of our files and paperwork sit down there. On this side we have kind of like the media central. This is where all of our camera gear, our microphones, the drone has its own spot and our printer is housed right here. It does come wired for a washer dryer combo. On this side we have more area for Carolyn's uniforms and clothes along with all of our washing, laundry detergent and things like that. The kids have their little piggy banks. Above we have a couple games that we bring down for special occasions for the kids to play with along with a couple special books that the kids really enjoy. Right here we have some of our thinner items. We have our fan, which we use when it's hot outside. We also have two bar stools. The bar stools kind of have a dual purpose. One, we could set them up out on the island for us or the kids, and the other is here at our office. So these just fold out, and then you can set it down right here. We got them at Walmart for about $11. Welcome to our office. We have our DVD player, which is hooked up to our TV that gets rarely used. But this is very helpful if you are dealing with weather issues and you need to find out from the local news what is going on. All of our electronic items are run through a battery backup so that if we lose power in our trailer, we don't lose data in our computer. This is our iMac where we do all of our editing and 
a lot of the research we do for our trips. This space down below kind of serves two purposes. One is kind of an office space. So we have, you know, office supplies and things that are related to our computer. One drawer for me and one drawer for Carolyn for our socks and smaller items. Let's check out the outside of our trailer. First, let's put our glasses on. We have two 40 pound propane tanks, on, one on either side. We put these little gauges here so that we know if we're running low on propane. This is the main entrance to our basement. We have a bin for power cables. We have a bin for all of our water hoses and accessories. We use, we use this crate for all of our boots and shoes, things that we use during wet weather or winter time. Our 3,500 watt generator sits right back there. And then we have a few bins of miscellaneous items and a few toys. This trailer is also equipped with slam shut doors. This is our outdoor kitchen. We use this quite a bit. We have our Kangen water machine, which is our third way that we use to purify our water. Up here is all of our extra storage for food. And then on both sides, we have extra cooking items, storage for the outdoor kitchen. The trailer came equipped with a barbecue. And this is that barbecue that we have used a grand total of one time. It was such a bad cooking experience for us that we went and we purchased this barbecue. After we purchased the barbecue, I actually went and purchased all the attachments to get this to hook up to our trailer. Originally, our trailer did come equipped with an outdoor fridge, which was housed right here. However, on our trip to Louisiana, something decided to break the glass because it had a glass front on the refrigerator. Stepping over here is the entrance to the second bathroom. What is nice about this is that if we're in an area that has limited access to the front, we can actually use this as our main entrance. The back of the trailer has our bike rack and up above here is our ladder that goes all the way up to the top of the trailer. This is the other side of our trailer. Down here is our hookup for our back tank. Right here is our main power hookup for the trailer. It is 50 amp. Down below is our main sewer hookup, which is controlled from the water control area. One of the benefits that I do like about this trailer is that they have the one key system. So one key will unlock or lock everything on the trailer. This is a complete pass-through basement so we can get access to the entire storage area uh, from either side. Right here is our water control. This is our fresh water and this hooks up to the hose outside. And then this is our black water flush. This is one of the magic items in our trailer. It is the auto leveling system. What we really like about this is we just have to get the trailer fairly level. We push auto level and it does the rest. Down below our fifth wheel, we house our bikes. It keeps the rain off our bikes. And then behind it is our hatch that we put a lot of our tools. Um, extra gas cans for diesel and gasoline for the generator, some bike helmets and accessories. It also holds the two batteries that run our trailer when we're not hooked up to power. We use a whole right auto slide system that I'll show you on the back of our truck. What we really like about this hitch is that it is made for short bed trucks and when you do a sharp turn the um, hitch actually slides with the trailer giving you the needed clearance. Finally before we head back inside I wanted to talk about our more ride step above system. This is a one piece system that folds up into the rig when you're traveling. What we really like about this is it's extremely steady. You do have to be careful making sure your door is completely clear of this system before you close it up. 
I hope you enjoyed that walkthrough, and we would love to show it to you in person if you're ever in our area. Make sure to email us at rvdiaryofafamily at gmail.com or contact us on any of the social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. We plan to put out another video of all the little things that we use or changes that we've made to the rig to make it more like home. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna go ahead and sign off. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, live, live life intentionally. intentionally. Bye. Bye.